Hello everyone, I'm Steven. Today is March the 14th. Happy Pi Day everyone. Today I'm going to do format question 24 and 25. And question 24 is associated with circles. Hope you enjoy this video and make sure to subscribe my channel. Let's get into the question now. Question 24 is a pair of real number A and B with a squared plus b squared is less than or equal to one quarter. It's chosen at random. If p is the probability that the curves with equations y equals ax squared plus 2bx minus a and y equals x squared intersect, then 100p is closest to which of the following? And now let's get into the solution. When these two curves y equals to ax squared plus 2bx minus a and y equals to x squared intersect. That means there is a solution to the equation ax squared plus 2bx minus a equals x squared, which is e equivalent to a minus 1 times x squared plus 2bx minus a equals 0. And then you solve for x, you by quadratic formula, you get x is equal to negative 2b plus or minus square root of 4 times b squared plus 4 times a squared minus 4a all over 2a minus 2. And if there is a solution to x, that means the part in the square root must be positive, which means 4 times b squared plus 4 times a squared minus 4a is greater than or equal to 0. Or if you write it in the circle form, it is b squared plus a minus a half squared is greater than or equal to one quarter. Now let's graph the region that does satisfy a squared plus b squared is less than or equal to a quarter, but does not satisfy b squared plus a minus a half squared is greater than or equal to one quarter. And we get this graph. Now we only need to find the ratio of this red region to the circle and then subtract it from one and we'll get our probability. And now we know that these two circles have radius a half, but right now the radius does not matter anymore because when the radius multiplied by x, the area of circle multiplied by x squared and the region in red also multiplied by x squared and their ratio remain the same. So then we can choose a radius that is easy for our calculation. And now we only need to find the ratio of the red region to the circle. Let the radius of these two circles be 6. And then we'll find the area of the red sector and find the area of the yellow region and then add them together. Since we know that AC equals to AB equals to BC equals to 6, then angle BCD equals to 120 degrees. The area of the circle is 6 squared times pi, which means the area of the red sector is 12 pi. And for the yellow region, we can find the area of sector bounded by line AD, AB, and the arc BD on point C side. And then subtract the area of two equilateral triangles, ABC and ABD. And the area of sector bounded by line AD, AB, and arc BD on point C side is the same as the red sector. And the area of one equilateral triangle is 6 squared times the square root of 3 divided by 4. Now we can know that the area of yellow region is 12 pi minus 18 times the square root of 3. Now going back to this picture, the area of this red region we know is 24 pi minus 18 times the square root of 3. Also, we know that the area of the circle is 36 pi. And remember, this region does not satisfy the condition we have in the question, so we need to subtract this region from the area of the circle. So that means the region that does satisfy is 12 pi plus 18 times the square root of 3. Then we know that the point AB that satisfies this condition would be 12 pi plus 18 times the square root of 3 divided by 36 pi, which is about 0 0.609, which means 100p will be closest to 61, or our answer E. And now let's get into question 25. And the question is, let n be the number of triples x, y, z of positive integers such that x is less than y is less than z, 
and x times y times z equals to 2 squared times 3 squared times 5 squared times 7 squared times 11 squared times 13 squared times 17 squared times 19 squared. And it wants you to find the value of n when it is divided by 100. And now let's get into the solution. In total, there are three cases for x, y, z without any constraints. Number one is no pair of three numbers are the same, which means x does not equal to y, y does not equal to z, and x does not equal to z. And the second case is exactly one pair of the three number is the same, which could be x, x, z, x, y, x, or x, y, y. And number three is all numbers are the same. Now, let the number of triples in the first case be a, second case be b, and the third case be c. And then the question clearly would fall into the first case, so we need to find a. Now, let's try to find a plus b plus c. So for each prime number p as a factor of x, y, z, let x be p to the e x power multiply something that is not associated with prime p, y equals to p to the e y's power times something that is not associated with prime p, and z equals to p to the e z's power times something that is not associated with prime p. Then we can know that x, y, z equals to p to the e x plus e y plus e z multiplied by something that is not associated with prime p. So then in total, there are four choose two ways to choose e x, e y, and e z on one prime number. And since there are eight prime numbers, then we know that there are in total six to the eighth power ways to choose x, y, z or a plus b plus c equals to 6 to the 8th power. Now, let's try to find c. In the third case, if all three numbers are equal, that means x equals to y equals to z, then we can easily find that x, y, z are not integers, which is impossible, then c is equal to 0. And now, let's try to find b. When two numbers are equal, we can calculate the number of ways when x equals to y and then multiply it by 3. Since there are three cases, x equals to y, y equals to z, and x equals to z. And each of the cases will give the same number of pair, x, y, z. Same as before, thinking about each prime p. And x could be p to the first power times something that is not associated with p y could be p to the first power times something that is not associated with p, and z could be p to the zeroth power times something that is not associated with p, and in this case, prime p's power on x and y are the same. Or, alternatively, x could be p to the zeroth power times something that is not associated with p, y could be p to the zeroth power times something that is not associated with p, and z could be p squared times something that is not associated with p. And in this case, p's power on both x and y are the same. That means there are two ways to choose for each prime number p. And since there are eight prime numbers, then when x equals to y, there are two to the eighth power to choose x, y, z. Therefore, we can know that b equals to 3 times 2 to the 8th power. Since we know that a plus b plus c equals to 6 to the 8th power, then we can find that a equals to 6 to the 8th power minus 3 times 2 to the 8th power. And when x does not equal to y and y does not equal to z and x does not equal to z, there are 6 possible ways to arrange them and only one will give x is less than y and y is less than z. And therefore, there are in total 6 to the 8th power minus 3 times 2 to the 8th power divided by 6, and that equals to 279808 pairs of x, y, z that satisfy. Which means our answer should be 8 or c. 
Question 24 is a geometric probability question and you need some complementary counting skills to solve question 25. Have you done some interesting questions on this Friday? Hope you enjoyed this video and make sure to subscribe to my channel.